Has, it, has anybody ever, like when you're, the crowd gets out of hand, has it ever gotten out of hand to the point where y'all had to stop performing? <laughs>
Thank you. something gets knocked over or something gets pushed over and you know you kind of got to stop playing guitar for a second and reach over and plug it back in or fix this or somebody fell on your pedal board and, and changed your settings or whatever. <laughs> good so it is. Dope. <laughs> I saw they were getting pretty close to you and I was worried yeah. that they were going to actually grab you while you were singing. Right. They just, man, they kept closing yeah. in. They did. Yeah. They kept closing in and I was, you know, people were starting to get up on the stage but I mean, you're in the moment, yeah. you know, it's just, it's so much fun. It's unexpected, roll, and yeah. you know, I mean, I, I just got up on that case and I just kept singing and just seeing the crowd into it. Just, it's awesome. If there was one thing that you could leave with your fans, what would it be? Like, how would you want to impact them? It's their show. Or anybody that listens much. to your music. Anybody yeah, that listens to your music. It's, I mean, it's their show just as much as it is. Yeah. Um, yeah. Absolutely. So, however you enjoy yourself, do, you know, come out and have a good time. Right. But I mean, like, how would you want them to remember you? Like, just a band sure. that just have passion and just and they crave yeah. just we love what we be do. up there and yeah. interact with everyone, you know? Yeah. And just come back. Like come to come they see us, us again. And we you know, they can see that we actually enjoy what we do. Absolutely. And then it seems like, you know, when we look at them, they seem to enjoy watching us and that's mm -hmm. what we want to be. Y'all you know, feed off each other type thing? Oh definitely. Oh. Yeah, it was very, very, very impressive. I have to say that. Yeah, we had a blast, man. It's dirty, it's stinky, it's sweaty, it's, it's <laughs> painful. I mean, blood blisters, you know, dude. It, but you know what? It's, it's rock and roll, man. Yeah. Like, that's, that's what it is. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be the last uh, question. What is y'all's favorite song so far <coughs> at this point? What, what would y'all play? Hands down, one song you had to pick, what would it be and why? Uh, as a, a group or individual? As, as a group. That y'all think that y'all all together, oh. when y'all play this song, it's like... I don't know. I feel... Tell me and Kelsey misery really and good. pushing through. I mean, yeah. I, man, it, you, Kelsey K is getting dosage. Last, I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't think there's just so people. Yeah, now. just so passionate about it. You know, like Kelsey. through our songs, man. You know, we put us into every song. We try to make them as best as mm -hmm. possible. Yeah, yeah, we work really hard on each song. I have a favorite. How, 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 how yeah. are your songs developed? Like, all do, do y'all write them yourselves or? Yep, uh -huh. yep, one hundred percent ourselves. Um, yeah. I mean, somebody will come in with an idea. Yeah. Everybody else just builds off of it. And then you just build the song? Just Normally when we write a song, somebody will throw down a riff, and within five minutes of that riff coming out, we'll probably have played have the through the song. entire song. <laughs> it, it just happens. Yeah, like, it's, you just, it's the truth. Yeah. You just know, man. Like You just kind of start playing. You're ad-libbing the whole time, and you're trying this. and mm -hmm. you, you mess up, you know, definitely. But right. you try this, and you try this. But you just, when you're connected as well as we are now, you know, yeah. you just feel it, man. You know where to go next. Okay, guys. Well, I appreciate y'all giving me a little bit of your time. Um, yeah. We're here with Downfall Rising, GSP TV, and we're giving it to you live here first.
can create A taste of your sour heart I should pull away from my Yeah. 
merchandise back there if you guys want to hook us up and give us some money for some food. I'm hungry.
with GSP TV and with Downfall Rising, and we're gonna go over some things with the band. First, we're gonna go over their names. Tyler, who play drums. Uh, Greg, guitarist. Aaron, guitar. Rachel, vocals. Brian, guitar. Steven, bass. Okay, guys, how how do y'all know each other? How did y'all meet? How did this happen? And me and Steven have played together since we were probably 13 or 14 years old. Um, we ended up in our previous lineup. We picked up Greg, worked with that for a while. We played with Aaron in another band a lot, and uh, their band parted ways. He came in, added his part, let go of our old singer, you know, um, and we moved on. You know, we picked up Rachel and Brian, and, and it's 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 rolling from there. Yeah, okay, so why did y'all choose rock of all? My personal opinion is, is rock's just the most, you, you get more variety out of it than any style of music. You can be mellow and soft. You can yeah. be heavy and want to punch somebody in the face. Yeah. It's like a <laughs> You get so much aggression, but you get so much passion as well. I mean, yeah. It's just very well rounded. Yeah, That's my opinion. It's really, yeah, really exactly. good for like <coughs> anger management. <you> know? <laughs> That's <laughs> right. Therapeutic. Yeah. Therapeutic. Yeah. Therapeutic. What, do you, what do you think about rock? Uh, some always grew up with and you and you never I mean, you've I'm always just always leaned towards rock music I've, I've grown up around Cajun music and uh, a lot of friends listen to rap and hip hop but I was always just always had stuck on rock leaning into that I always admired the sounds and yeah. the, everything about it for sure uh, it's always in the blood man I guess you can't get away from it Continue. I don't think it's oh, a yeah. matter of choice, you know, sometimes. Absolutely. Everything goes right back to that, mm -hmm. yeah. As a musician, uh, how would you describe yourself? Mm -hmm. Laid back as motor mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. Yeah, like, just laid back root style, man. It's just, yeah. Pop like some pump down. And what about you? Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Do y'all have any, uh, Anything that y'all have ever done together as a group that y'all are like, proud of other than performing? That's excellent. <laughs> <laughs> you were there to witness it? That's... <coughs> right, man, man, last night was our first show and um, one thing that I would say that I'm definitely proud of is, is we seem to have, uh, I don't know if this is the correct words or not, but made a difference to a lot of people. A lot of people, you know, a lot of people dug it, man. A lot of people like it and we're from their hometown. It's Lufkin, man. You know, and uh, they're from Louisiana, but I mean, we 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 had a hell of a night. You know, witnessing it live, I saw that y'all were y'all definitely jam and y'all rock. But on top of that, it's almost like it's more than just listening because it's entertaining to watch y'all perform. Because oh, y'all all have your own little world that you go into, and yeah. it's it, all together. It's just y'all just somehow make it work, and it it's pretty pretty uh, impressive. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. So where do y'all where do y'all see yourselves in five years like with your music? Where would y'all like to be? Playing. Playing. Yeah. Playing. Yeah. Play more shows. Okay, but playing, um, say, in Texas. Man, let's, let's hit. Let's, let's, yeah, let's hit Everywhere. U.S. Let's hit. Let's let's see the world, man. All yeah. over. Let's, yeah. We'd like to be able to go on the other side of the country and have a good crowd and show like. We did right here. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. You know, make everybody, town, you know, yeah. So it's not just really the, the crowd, it's just the the people that, that are yeah. there. You want that personal interaction, man, you because know, without you, yes. you don't get the power of your own music. That's what we feed off of when we're on stage. Yeah, without the crowd, we're nothing, man. Yeah, you can't, exactly. I mean, it's like pulling the batteries out. So if somebody asked y'all, and y'all had the opportunity to play in, in Japan, Knowing they don't understand you, absolutely. Would y'all be down to do that? Oh yeah. Oh, we actually are currently working on that at the moment. Seriously? On, on heading to <laughs> Japan, Japan, Australia, Scandinavia, and Korea. Korea, yes. Yeah. Okay. But, uh, this is um, particularly for you. Okay. okay. How does it feel to be the only female in the group? I know that was gonna.